Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, August 28th, 2019. Today is a rather hot day once again. So yeah, we do have an outside temperature of 33 centigrade and I do have the same temperature indoors here, right in my office. I do have an inside temperature of 33 centigrade, so it's once again rather demanding to record this very episode of the coffee break. But yeah, we will just soldier on. We will just continue with Hi Cow, with the expedition, with the story of my life, because yeah, the coffee break is all about my life and all the things I experience, all the adventures I make, all the great things I that that happen to me that I experience and also the, the sad things. Luckily there aren't so many sad things lately, which is good. This is this is actually quite refreshing to have such a yeah, more or less relaxed time. I there are a few things of course I would like to have a little bit different and yeah, maybe better or so, but in general I'm I'm happy. I'm I'm quite okay. I'm okay with with how things are, with what I'm doing. I'm also happy with the progress of my latest paper. I currently write or rather wrote because it's more or less complete and that's awesome. That's super cool. The deadline for this paper is September 10th, I guess. It's once again this weird timey wimey situation with anywhere on earth as uh, the time zone, which means it's, I guess it's 14 hours later. So it's basically 2 p.m. the day after the deadline here in uh, my time zone when the when the deadline is over. So yeah, it, it's just weird. It's, it's it's super weird. So I'm not quite sure. I think I think the deadline is September 10th. And um, yeah, 11 p.m. 59 minutes and 59 seconds anywhere on Earth, which should be. September 11th, 1 p.m. 52, uh, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. But yeah, uh, I, I might be off by a day or so, but this doesn't matter because the paper nearly is finished. I just have to proofread it again, maybe discover a few flaws or so, but in general it's, it's done and that's super refreshing. That's super cool to be this early with the submission. So yeah, I, I, I can really enjoy this. And I can really get used to it when I don't have to uh, stay until the very, very into into the very late afternoon, evening, night or so in my office to work on the paper and just say, okay, it's done, I'm I'm free. So that's nice. That's very nice. A little bit unusual, and I'm quite sure the next paper will be a little bit more stressful again. But for this one, it's okay. It's it's very nice. Speaking of papers, I also got the confirmation of the acceptance of one of the papers. Uh, it's the one that got invited from the conference last year. I submitted the, well, the initial manuscript mid of January, I guess. I received feedback in June? No, I think it was before June. Was it in June or May? I don't know, May or June, I revised it. I received another minor revision request. I did this and now finally, finally it's accepted. Hooray, I got uh, yet another paper and the good thing is the paper presents results and um, well, so to say my theoretical approach of my PhD thesis. So now my PhD thesis is 
aside from a very very low percentage completely published it's it's gone through a lot of peer reviews and nearly every every part of my phd thesis now is published and peer reviewed and that's great that, that's super awesome I'm, I'm super happy super excited about it the only sad thing is that i can't include this paper into my phd thesis because i already submitted it but still that's that's a great outcome so yeah great great I, I just wanted to share those those amazing news with you it's the paper is about kerbal space program again so i haven't done a new study or so it's still the same results i presented you last september so you basically have to go one year back into the archives of the coffee break to watch this episode to to hear about the results you can also read the paper that's also a valid approach and um, yeah it was well this study was invited as a journal paper so i just added all the theoretical well my my entire the theoretical approach of my phd to this paper to yeah just have new content in the paper in contrast well in comparison to the to the original conference paper and this apparently was sufficient and it was accepted it was peer reviewed so hooray i i managed to ooh, i managed to um publish my theoretical approach again so that's great i am i'm just super happy and now i i also managed to finish this other conference uh, no it's not a conference paper but it will be uh, well, that, that's also an interesting thing the conference has basically two deadlines so it has a conference deadline and a journal deadline the journal deadline is the one i have prepared this paper for it is earlier than the conference deadline so the deal is you submit your journal paper version to this conference it gets reviewed when it gets accepted or at least uh, when you just get a minor revision then you can proceed on with this track and you can get a full journal paper which of course has to be presented at the conference and if it gets rejected you have i think about two weeks or one week of time to well improve the paper again according to the feedback you received in the uh, in the review to submit it again for the conference track so yeah there you, you basically have two chances to get your results published at this very conference and i of course hope that I have success with my submission for the journal track because this would be super cool to get another journal paper out and um, yeah, of course it's way more prestigious. So this would be cool. This would be super exciting, super amazing. I, well, I, I was wrong several times when I thought, hey, I, I would, I, I think I do have good chances to get a paper publisher so at a certain venue. But in this case, I'm once again quite confident because the paper reports on novel, fin novel findings in respect to decision-making in immersive virtual reality. So basically, we did an experiment, we found results that reveal and provide new insights about decision making when being immersed using a head mounted display in virtual reality and that's super cool and that's super relevant because it not only affects the well basically our our topic we used as an incentive as a reason why we investigated the thing so we once again connected our research with gambling and the risk of gambling in immersive virtual reality because we just suspect okay now with virtual reality and gambling, gambling could be way more dangerous. So we started to investigate this, to do some research. And um, yeah, this is a follow-up study on an experiment we published on the last conference, well, on, on this last conference, so on the, on the previous conference, on the, I don't know, 
26th edition or so 27th edition i don't know so it was it was just the the last edition of this conference and yeah now we we are aiming for the journal track which which would be super cool and the paper as it has significant results and as it is super relevant and super well i for my uh, at least from my point of view it's absolutely spot on for this venue we might have good chances that it gets accepted and this would be this would be super cool this would be just awesome we will see we will see about that i'm just happy that it's done basically and i can look forward to my holidays and that my holidays probably will be holidays no paper writing during the holidays just just enjoying my time well maybe i will proofread it again or take a look at it if i can find maybe some a few things i i like to improve or so but in general i am i'm done with it and that's cool oh no oh no zombie you ow you jerk what a rude dude what an absolute jerk what a jerk I was I was already falling asleep and then this guy this guy came up to me and woke me up again. It's a little bit like my my experience, my last weekend experience with the with the snoring guys that had also woke me up by getting into the room after I nearly fall asleep and then started to snore and uh, oh dear this was this was horrible. <laughs> this was absolutely horrible. So, um, yeah, so many rude dudes. That's crazy. That's not fair. We are here to relax, to enjoy our time and to speak of holidays and so on. So, jerks. Just jerks. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm, I'm just, just okay. And so, that's... That's just cool. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's it's really a good time lately. Sure, there are a few bad things going on at work, some annoying things. I mean, paper writing was working out quite good, but still, it, it, it still works. So it's not perfect. But aside from work, I mean, I'm happy with... Ooh, hi. I'm happy with doing... All my sporty sports. This, this of course helps me to relax and to have I have I cleaned everything? Every is everything fine? Yes, yes, I think everything is fine. And um Yeah, every everything Ooh, what's going on there? There's a huge patch of pumpkins. Pumpkins Conference. Yeah, this is, this is a pom conference. Uh, pumpkin conference or pumpkin convention or so. That's cool. Neat finding. Very neat. So, yeah, that's that's, that, that's just super cool. And sure, this super hot weather is quite demanding right now. But on the other hand, I'm to a certain degree even enjoying it, which is, which is still weird. I already talked about this in a previous episode that that's weird. I'm I'm enjoying the summertime. I don't know why. I, I'm not quite sure how this happened, but I'm enjoying it. So yeah, that's that's also cool, I guess. That's at least it's it's not not stressful. It's it's relaxing. It's it's nice. It's yeah, cool. Just just cool. Vacation is coming up. I will, of course, talk a little bit more about the upcoming vacation next episode. I do have to record some episodes for the time I'm away. You will miss at least one episode of the coffee break, but that's okay. I hope I can get out some, uh, at least some Astroneer and maybe a new game, a game I like to try out and where I think this could be fun for at least one spin-off episode or so so this should be cool so exciting stuff should be coming up which would be also nice for next week speaking of this week on monday i was invited to a friend for some um 
for some cooking. We cooked together, we enjoyed some um, pictures she took from her from her um, travels because she was away for 10 days, I guess. And I showed my pictures of my journey to Bornholm and um, yeah, this is a long weekend I spent at the Baltic Sea. So this was really a, a nice nice uh, Monday evening. On uh, Tuesday evening we met again, but this time we met with some other friends for some barbecue. We got to some other friends. They have a neat terrace. We had barbecue on that terrace. And I just realized once again, with all this sports I'm doing, I eat way too much. I really eat way too much. I'm not quite sure how I, how I did this and why I was still hungry, but as I uh, got to the grocery store in order to buy something to yeah to put on the grill, I saw a neat piece of beef and I thought, hmm, this, this looks good. This looks really nice. It turned out this was a 300 gram piece of beef. So this was quite, quite large, actually. I then grabbed two other smaller pieces to be barbecued because I thought, hey, I, I need a backup. I managed to eat all those three things and also some salad. And later on the evening, we had some ice cream. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it was so much food and I just enjoyed it. And I haven't even felt really stuffed or so, which was which was really a weird thing that normally one would feel stuffed, right? And I, I was still feeling okay. -ish. So guess guess with all this, the the activities I do, I'm I'm way too I consume way too much energy, or so it all the time has to be uh, refilled with those activities, with eating way too much, or so. But yeah, so th this was also a nice evening, sitting there until I think half past 10 or so until we drove home. So yeah, it was, was a nice evening. And this was also nice because, uh, well, there it was nice that it's still summertime as we were just sitting outdoors and it was warm and nice and re really cool. I, yeah, currently I can't even complain about the summertime, which is, which is surprising. And I really have some activities I enjoy during the summertime. So, yeah, there's that. Then we do have some uh, space news. Well, I'm not quite sure. They're not, not really space news. They are connected to space news as a SpaceX did a quick test flight with their new Starhopper, I guess I call the thing. It's basically just a, hmm, a landing stage or so. It's, it's a thing you would also build in Kerbal Space Program to just do some experiments on the launch pad. Uh, just a fuel tank with some uh, landing struts and an engine and of course maybe a guidance computer or so. And yeah, they flew the thing. They launched the thing into the air. It hovered a little bit around and it landed on a different landing pad which was built right adjacent to the, the launch pad. So this was cool. This is really nice. I did this to demonstrate basically new space-like technology that should make the exploration of space better. <laughs> I mean, that that's of course all the time their their main goal, and I mean they they still aim for this. We have to land on Mars situation, but I, I'm still not sure about the the entire Mars situation when we will really land something well we landed something on Mars already but when we yeah really make our first attempts to send a human out to Mars I mean this, there's so, there are so many open questions there are so many difficulties ahead of us and yeah I don't see us landing on the surface of Mars in the within the next decade or so. I, I mean, it's possible. Sure, I guess it's possible, but right now I, I just think, hmm, 
there are so many open questions. It would be surprising if it would really work out and if we would really make it that far, but we will see. Right now I do have the feeling that everything is possible and that's of course a good feeling. The only, well, sad thing, well, it's not really a sad thing. Hi. I still like to continue working on my presentation for my thesis defense and I haven't found time yet, which is a little bit yeah, annoying. I mean, yes, I was writing a paper. I was writing a paper for a super prestigious conference and a even more prestigious journal. But on the other hand, I'm, well, my personality is that I really like to complete, ooh, we have another pumpkin convention. That's interesting, the, the second patch of pumpkins we found that is that close and that large. I mean, there are so many pumpkins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pumpkins or so. That's, that's quite a large number. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yes, uh, my, ooh, the mountain again. I'm, my personality is more like, okay, I, I like to complete things. And this thesis thing is, or the Stephen thing is something I, I was working on, then something else popped up. I did something else and I all the time have basically to postpone working on it because something else has to be done first and that's bad. Well, it's not so bad. I mean, and hmm, it's, it's not really that, that I want to be finished. It's just like, I think, I think the main problem with that is I do have a certain specific thing in mind. I like to do for this uh, defense, I like to prepare. I'm currently speaking about a video featuring some uh, Kerbal Space Program gameplay so that I can explain, okay, uh, there's some some appli application of knowledge in the game. When you design your rockets, you apply the ideal rocket equation. So you, you practice this knowledge. Wow, this is mountainous awesome. I think we just have to stay here during the night and uh, start next episode with this fantastic view over to this great scenery. I mean, just, just look at this. This is, wow, this is cool. This is so amazing. This is so great. So, wow. Yeah, I, I like to basically have this, this video where I show some Kerbal Space Program gameplay and I have some um, information I like to display to explain, okay, so basically to, to pri provide visual guidelines and visual information that really explain this ideal rocket ideal rocket equation application in the game. And um, I have the video, but I haven't managed to add all those um, additional information to the video. And this is the thing I like to do now for, let's say, a month or so. And over the course of the month, I always was doing something else, like writing the paper, preparing other things. and. When I then got back home after a long day at work, I'm not really in the mood of making progress or of working on another thing. So that's why I also said, hey, I, I need some home office. I, I just need to, to leave work early so that I do have an entire afternoon just for working on this video. And this, this is really the thing that annoys me the most. It's not really that I want to be done with the preparation of the season. I know that, uh, not of the season, but of the defense, uh, I know that I won't be done with it until I have given this talk, but I at least like to finish those, those smaller things that I do have in my mind, where I do have a specific, specific idea in mind and where now, okay, I like to do it as exactly like this. I do have, and now how I, how I like to, how the video should look like and um, when I then don't have the time to do this that's that's really an, the thing that annoys me a bit so to say but yeah that's 
That's basically what happened over the course of uh, the last few days. A lot of great things. Finished a paper, got a paper accepted. Hooray! This is super awesome. So... Yeah. Awesome. Great. I had a lot of fun with friends and with summer, so yeah, I'm just relaxed, happy. I'm content, so that, that's good. And with this, we are at the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you will be joining Max, me next time. And as usual, if you do have a question, if you do have a certain topic I should discuss, please, please ask, provide this topic in the comment section. I would appreci appreciate it very much because... Um, Ah, this was bad. Because um, yeah, this, this would give me some more, some more chances to discuss things, to discuss things you're interested in, and I think this would be cool. I think this would be just great when when we can do those things again. So please, please ask questions in the comment section, and I now have to. Uh, really, really go to go to bed before more of those jerks spawn. In this case, thank you so much for, for watching. Until next time, my name is Sebi. See you!